بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ربي اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي uh, Hello brothers sisters how are you uh, In today's lesson I would like to show you how we can uh, export uh, a module from advanced steel to rivet without losing any uh, kind of profiles okay so uh, the point is without losing end or without losing or without changing any kind of profiles or uh, this is about if, uh, what kind of profiles we have even if you have uh, custom profiles okay so the, this way is work work with uh, even uh, we have a custom profile okay so what we are going to do we have first we, we have to save the, the our drawing and uh, I, I want to make a um, number for these um, what uh, this uh, this my uh, numbering style that uh, I always using uh, so we have these two as you see uh, why we make numbering because uh, sometimes you see you, see, uh, you have I don't know uh, what kind of, of, of uh, profiles that I have it will give me here okay IP 400 uh, HEA 300 AA or HE 300 AA so we have two type of profiles so I have to uh, make for this too after that uh, go to uh, import and export uh, and export to rivet as you see here we have rivet here we have navs works uh, we have uh, the rest of the programs that we can export and import uh, to that program uh, we have uh, import, we have export, and we have uh, uh, this one. This is the the, the, the integration between between this program. But I want to uh, just export it uh, for for like uh, for, for this lesson. Okay, just go to export and export it to uh, somewhere that uh, we can save the the, the file. Uh, so let's say advanced steel to rabbit uh, export. Just save it. I see now export stats is here. Yeah, we we want to save the the, the file, and now we have uh, a fi uh, the file here. Okay, on desktop. Okay, after that, what I'm going to I'm going to uh, open a Revit, open a new project. Okay, and uh, go to uh, add-ons. Uh, advanced as you see here, uh, we have advanced steel. But while uh, let me just uh, first import it. Uh, this is the advanced import, or I can uh, from other formats. Okay, I can bring this uh, formats also. But I have advanced, so I will choose this one. Just go to OK. And where is the fi uh, my file? Is I think here. Yeah, advanced to Revit uh, export. Just bring it. As you see here, what uh, it gives us this window uh, that tells us that the columns, the columns which uh, is HEA 300 uh, this is the class name and uh, IPE 400 what kind of what kind of families that uh, we want to choose this one for example uh, we have uh, HEA 300 what kind of family we have here to hold this one by, by default we have only one okay but we have to uh, make now we have to make this one uh, 300 we, or we have to uh, make a profile for that as you see here this is the column okay and this is a beam so we have to make two families for these two for this to just hold this one if I, I just select this one as you see just click it okay uh, you can see that you can see that everything is changed everything is changed but I don't need this one so I'll delete this one okay what I'm going to do I want to make families for these two uh, it, the, the best way to make families for these two is go to go back to uh, to the uh, advanced steel and select this one. We have uh, something here. Uh, insert cross section. Insert cross section of the beam. Okay. I don't want to want to draw draw and waste time to to drawing like this section of the arcs as you see here. Uh, just let me change the the, the uh, display type to the feature or maybe exact. Okay. As you see here. We have we have this kind of this arc this thickness. I don't want to draw all of these. Okay, but just I, what, what I want I want to just click it and insert cross section for that. Uh, where is the uh, where I want to insert the cross section? Just click it after that. 
so now as you see uh, I, I made this one after that just select this one and uh, ex explode it so X on keyboard and space so now what 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 I'm what I did I just exploded exploded this this part so now what I have now what I have I have an exposed uh, one so if I uh, oh, sorry it doesn't explode it just X for explode oh sorry what I uh, I used sorry I, I did a mistake because when I I, I select this one I think uh, I have to say only this part and explode it. yeah. Uh, not uh, not this one because it will it will gone. I uh, just select uh, this one. So I have this this one. I will bring it at uh, this side. Okay. Uh, this is for the colon. Okay. What about for the beam? The same thing. Okay. The same uh, procedure. Just click it here and I insert it. I insert it, insert this one again. Just click this one and X for explode. So I have these two profiles uh, and move it here. Uh, that's very good, but as you see, uh, let me bring uh, the uh, cube. This one is worked, but also I have to I have to change this one. Uh, I have to uh, change this this one, so it should be on the top. Okay, or let me just copy this. Um, we have to copy this uh, to to the other other uh, file. So I'll just uh, make it. It should, as we said, it should be from the top. As you see here, now I, I see this one. This is the, for the column. We don't have any problem. But for the beam, for the IPE for 400, I have a problem with that. So I have to, I have to, uh, what I have to do? I have to rotate it. Uh, the way for rotating this one, uh, if I go to uh, this side, the way for rotating this one, uh, you can just click here and uh, say uh, UCS to the view, change the UCS to the view, and after that, uh, rotate it by 90 degree or you can use a uh, 3d rotate also, of course if you if you don't want to like this you can just select this one and uh, uh, say 3d rotate and as you see you rotate in uh, 90 degree just like this and after that you can put it uh, one beside each other so now uh, from the top view we, uh, we can see both of them uh, just save it the, save this file let's say uh, sections just save it okay after that uh, we go back to the rivet and make new family so new from here new family and uh, what we have here this English we don't need English we have to uh, English uh, Imperial so I went to English this one uh, I have two things columns and uh, matrix structural column I will use this one and uh, as you see here we have uh, this one but go to uh, insert uh, and import card uh, sections bring uh, sections double click and bring this to uh, ambient first move them bring it inside I want to delete this one as you see here this is uh, uh, you see pin and pin okay I want to the uh, this one as you see here I want to explode the, uh, them yes uh, because I, I want to delete this part I want to use this one uh, later for for the uh, beam okay after that just move it to the correct position let's say this one or uh, select all of it move it from the middle it should be middle to the middle okay middle to the middle just like this I don't care about this one because uh, this is the parametric uh, distance you see I, d I can also delete this this one because I don't need uh, this one just uh, save it okay save this this uh, one and save it by with HEA uh, 300 HEA 300 on this term no problem okay save it okay that's very good I can bring uh, to the load to the project and bring it to my project no problem after that escape it I don't want to put uh, for now uh, after that again uh, another one new family another family I want to make uh, this one uh, for this time I have beam so what I have to go to with uh, beam with the structural framing 
metric structural frame beam and uh, bracing this one again I go to uh, left view I have this one just select this one edit uh, extrusion delete uh, the existing one and again go to insert uh, import card uh, sections yeah double click so uh, you can see all of, all of it and move it to this point I want to uh, what I want to do I want to delete this one because I don't need uh, I made this one after that I can move it uh, this one let's say from this point and again select everything we we uh, put it in the middle in uh, in uh, with X axis but now for with the Y axis so I have to uh, just uh, select move as you see here the middle midpoint of the of the section and take it to the uh, this line and just uh, click finish again save this one uh, this is IPE 400 okay just save it again load into project uh, so what we have we have uh, this project too because we have two uh, projects to open it I want to bring it to the project too and not to the family uh, this family so just click OK now everything is, is, is just uh, escape one time everything is uh, is uh, ready for here just click uh, again click import uh, and click OK and go to advanced seal import and as you see now we have two families to hold these two uh, um, uh, things for the beam or the, for the column click here and uh, HEA uh, I'm sorry for that I didn't uh, load I think I didn't load the uh, let me go to IPE and I want to load it to the project so I want to load to this project I think now we, we did let me go to beams uh, so check this one is uh, oh, came or not yeah now we have okay so again from the first time uh, uh, from uh, from the start okay we start again and import uh, okay this file this is for the column we uh, we have this one yeah uh, yeah sorry this is for the column you have only one time of co one, one type of column that we made okay and for the beam also we have this one uh, for the beam we made just click open okay sorry and delete elements no problem and go to 3d view I think there there's some uh, mistake uh, no problem uh, I will I will make another uh, because I think uh, we did some some mistake no problem I will make a new project we can do it no problem just click OK, uh, and I will make. I can go to manage or <laughs> insert load family. We have on the desktop. We made uh, these two families and open and open them. After that, go to uh, add in advanced steel input. Click OK. This one, and we make this one. Okay, okay. Let's say show. I think we have this this uh, kind of uh, uh, problem with the column. Okay. So we don't. Uh, no, it's, it doesn't problem. Uh, so I will, I will fix this one. Okay, I will go to uh, the family and I will fix the the problem for that. Uh, as you see, I opened the, the, the uh, column profile. I did a mistake. As you see, I didn't uh, choose any kind of this, and, and, and I put outside for this one. Uh, by the way, I have to have to choose this one for making. Okay, I have to make this. With, so I will just uh, control C this one. And what I say, I say I have by extrusion. Okay, I have by uh, I say I have by extrusion, and I can uh, just click Control V because uh, that one was uh, outside to, uh, to this one or I can what I can do I can just select these lines because I was I was put uh, I was uh, putting the lines outside uh, outside the the family so that was the mistake okay 
escape it just select this one and move it to the middle uh, sorry move it to the middle as you have the, uh, the midpoint to this point now I think it's okay just click finish and if you go to 3D you see you can see this one and uh, if you go to left side you see here and we will uh, make this one to the top of the, of the floor so that's that's good now uh, and we will save this one and load into project override existing yes of course we want to override the existing and uh, I will delete everything and again I want to import from advanced seal okay uh, this is the column this is the beam and you click OK and now everything is okay what's the uh, what was the mistake the mistake that I, I, I j didn't uh, make any section for this I just uh, m copied outside the, the extrusion so uh, we, I have to copy this one inside the extrusion so now everything is, is, is solid now you can you can uh, work with it and we, you can put some materials we, you can render it whatever you want <coughs> As you see, you can, you can whatever you can, uh, you can you can do it. Uh, change the origin, change the materials, whatever you want. Okay. So now uh, we could import uh, import uh, this one here. This is the material here, and uh, this the the rest of it. So uh, this is for today. Uh, thank you very much. Don't forget to like the, this this video. It like uh, helps me uh, a lot during. Uh, YouTube rules and uh, don't forget also to subscribe um, to my